Hello everyone, it's PCL Pe here and in today's video I'll be showing you how to fix lagging and stuttering of the game NBA 2K20 and this will help you in increasing the FPS of the game too. So let's get started. So I've got a few workarounds for this issue. So the second one is the most important one. So please have a look at it very clearly. And the first one is right here in front of you. So all you have to do is just open run command box. You have to search for run and here type percentage sign a double P D A T A app data and again percentage and press enter and here in 2k sports go to NBA 2k20 in NBA 2k20 open video settings.cfg file in notepad here you can see here are the configurations of the game here are the settings of the game video settings so here you can make some changes to increase FPS and fix lag depending on your PC so for example, right now my PC is able to run this game without any problem with high settings. But if I were you and my game was not running properly when was lagging, I would have changed this to 1280 and 760. This will let you compromise with the graphics but will surely increase the FPS. But if you don't want to decrease the resolution, keep it as it is. That is 1366 by 768. But now you can compromise with these things. That is buffer count. You can change it to zero. We think you can keep it one. MSA. So if you have an average PC, you can keep it four. But if you have below average PC, you have to change it to zero. Now I'm changing settings as per a below average PC. So here max anisotropy for average PC it should be eight, and for low end PC it should be four or if it is a really low end PC you can change it to 0 2 now coming down towards here it is overall quality so overall quality should be 2 for average PC and 0 for the low end PC so if you change it to 0 it will automatically be changed to 1 so you can either change it to 0 or you can change it to 1 it depends on you now share the detail you don't need shader detail if you have low end PC. Change it to 0 2. Now depth of field. False. And you have to do the same with ambient conclusion, temporola, and bloom. And also floor reflections and mirror reflections if you have a low end PC. You have to change every one of them to false. And already I have changed the crowd load and hair load and player load to 0. Media vapor load can be 2 because it can, don't take my much of your PC's graphic RAM. So these are the settings for low-end PC. But if you're a high-end PC gamer and you want to play this game with high FPS and with less lag, now the next four steps will help you in doing so. Now let's come to the most important part that is downloading a game booster. So a game booster is a software that puts maximum of your PC's RAM in running a particular game. So that game booster we'll be downloading is and I recommend this Razer Cortex Game Booster. So just search on Google, download Razer Cortex Game Booster and go to this first link which will redirect you to this page. That is this one. Here click on download now and its downloading will be started. So its downloading is very simple, it will be downloaded and once you download it, its installation is also very simple. So I have made a separate video on how to do advanced setup of this game booster because its setup is a bit complicated and I want to keep this video short. So you can access that video by clicking on the upper right corner of your screen here. There will be a card here or you can find the link of that video in the description of this video. So once you watch that video you will, be, you will be able to do the advanced setup of this game booster and it will really help you in increasing the FPS and reducing a lag by margin. So that's it for the second step. In this step we will be reducing runtime services. This is the third step and let's search for services and here go to this first best match app of services wait for it to load it might take few seconds depending on your PC's configuration so once it has been loaded you have to search for Xbox scroll down to X and here Xbox accessory management service open this and we don't need that so in startup type by default it is automatic click on disable and apply and click on ok do the same with xbox live authorization manager by default it's automatic but change it to disable and apply and do the same with xbox live game save and xbox live networking service so you can go to here and 
disable it apply ok disable apply ok now search F now go to facts we don't need facts nowadays so just disable it too by default it is automatic and apply and click on ok so that's it for this step this will help you in reducing runtime services now let's proceed to the next now let's come to the fourth step in this step we'll be changing our PC's configuration now go to run and type msconfig that is msconfig and press enter wait for it to load it is also it might also take few seconds depending on your PC's configuration again now here do the general settings as I have done selective startup load startup items load system services now go to boot by default it's like this you have to click on no GUI boot and timeout seconds change it from 30 to 3 seconds now let's go to the services and here hide all Microsoft services and here select all the services or deselect all the services that you don't need for example I've by default they are all selected but I have not taken the services that I don't need like all the Adobe services I have not selected I have disabled all the Google Chrome services I have also disabled TeamViewer and I have also disabled this AZKL service so once you have changed it apply the settings now go to startup and it will open task manager so here you have to change settings by disabling all the apps that you don't need on startup so you have to disable maximum of your PC's app startup apps only keep the apps that are necessary for your PC to start up for example I have only enabled Realtek HD audio manager HD audio background manager and that's it rest everything I have disabled so disable most of the apps on startup just keep the important ones and this will help you help your PC help your PC in managing the RAM properly so that's it for this step now let's come to the fifth step in this we'll be deleting the temporary files go to run and here type temp and if there's any file present here delete all of them I've already deleted them so all you have to do is delete all the temporary files and again go to run and type percentage temp percentage sign again and press enter and delete all the files present here and don't worry these are all temporary files and just are a waste skip the files that are not being deleted because they might be in use so now let's go to your PC my computer Acer C your C drive that is now go to windows and here go to prefetch prefetch here it is and right now it is empty but for your PC it might have a thousand of files or maybe a hundreds of files just select them all and delete them all because these are all just waste files and delete them permanently so this will not help this is not specifically for increasing your gaming performance but it helps you in managing the RAM properly again so delete just these are just junk items and you don't need them in your PC so just delete them so that's it for this video this is how you can increase FPS and reduce lag of the game NBA 2K20 or any other game except the first step was just specific to this game but if you follow all the other steps for any other game it will work for them too so that's for this video that's it for this video if you like this video please hit the like button below and if you have any question please write in the comment box down below and also don't forget to subscribe for more thank you and have a nice day